you guys, it's Susan from the Pirate and the Lumberjack and today I'm here to show you how to make a side dish called cheesy corn. Here's what you're going to need. Alright, you're going to need three cans of corn. You're going to want to drain them. Um, the original recipe that my friend Kathy gave me called for white shoe peg corn. So I'm going to stick with the original, but we've also made this with just regular whole corn. Uh, so once again, you're going to want to drain those. Uh, you need a bar of cream cheese, a stick of butter, you're going to need some jalapenos, and some cheddar cheese. Alright, you're going to want to melt the stick of butter with the cream cheese in the microwave. Um, just kind of keep your eye on it, so probably around a minute, um, but you want that butter to get as melted as you can. All right, as you can see, the butter is melted uh, and the cream cheese is quite soft. So I'm just gonna stir that together and then I'm gonna throw it in the dish here with the corn. And I forgot to tell you earlier, you might wanna preset your oven to, the recipe says 350 for 45 minutes, but I've been doing 375 for about 30 minutes uh, and it's come out pretty well. All right, once you've got the butter and cream cheese mixture mixed in with the corn, now would be the time to add jalapenos. The recipe calls for two cups of chopped or sliced jalapenos. However, that's way too hot for us. Um, I put a few jalapenos and a few little spoonfuls of jalapeno juice, and that's uh, spicy enough for us. But, you know, you do you. <laughs> if you like it spicier, um, you add more. Okay, so I've added a few slices and a few spoonfuls of juice. You know, this is a 12 ounce jar, so two cups of jalapenos would have been at least that jar right there. <laughs> That's way too many, especially for as uh, small of a dish as this is. Um, I do um, tend to use this smaller, uh, what is this, an eight inch like square pan when we bake our brownies in, it's either eight or nine. Uh, I have used the 13 by nine casserole dish. Um, it's just a thinner layer of it, but we like it done pretty well in this one. And um, so you're gonna then put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Um, maybe at 30 minutes, you're gonna top it with some cheese and let that melt and get, uh, if you like it toasty, you can get it toasty. Um, but I tend to wait to put my cheese on uh, and add it another five minutes to it to do the cheese. And I'm making potato salad, so maybe I'll show y'all how to do potato salad I grew up eating. All right, hang tight. Hey guys, so I'm gonna share my potato salad recipe with you. Um, this is the way my mom made it um, growing up and I'm not gonna mess with perfection. <laughs> um, so I have some hard boiled eggs, some dill pickles. I like that brand from HEB. Um, I'm the only one that eats pickles, so obviously I get to enjoy this all by myself. Sour cream, Miracle Whip, and I pressure cook my potatoes. All right, so I'm gonna come back and kind of chop some of this stuff up and get ready to put it together. So when I get ready to chop up my eggs, I don't use a knife. I actually use a fork and mash them because my mom says we wouldn't eat it if we could see the egg when we were little. So this has just been the practice since. And uh, like I said, why mess with perfection? And no, there is no mustard in this potato salad because this is better. All right, you're going to want to let these potatoes cool before you peel them. Uh, and then you're going to chop them into bite-sized chunks. Uh, mix it with the eggs and pickles. And then you're going to throw in equal amounts of sour cream and Miracle Whip uh, just to your desired wetness, I guess. If you like it kind of dry, you'd use a little. If you like it really wet, you're going to use more. One thing I forgot to add is after 
uh, well before you put your miracle whip in sour cream after you've chopped up your potato you want to salt your potato um, pieces before adding that just to give it a little better flavor you know potatoes they like salt all right well here's the finished potato salad apparently i made enough for the neighborhood because i started with these cookie containers and i moved to that um, pampered chef measuring bowl ended up going to my KitchenAid mixer bowl um, i guess i'll dish it out into the leftovers into something probably one of those and here's the finished cheesy corn uh, you can always add more cheese if you like it um, but my family enjoys it and that's what it looks like nice and creamy so if you need something uh, a new dish to eat for dinner there you go try some cheesy corn well thanks for joining me today my potato salad and my cheesy corn Talk to you later. Bye. You know what I mean. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Check you later.